reaction. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> that scared me. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here. And if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> so I was having a conversation with a friend and she was saying how sitting at her desk is leaving her with shoulder pain and back pain and how it's super uncomfortable and she can't stand it because she's having to work from home with everything that's going on. So that then sparked a video idea that I could share with you five stretches that you could do from the comfort of your own desk. Before I take you into the stretches, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Right now, while I'm not doing any in-studio or public classes, I'm uploading videos daily. Yes, daily. If you want to find out what those five stretches are, then just keep watching. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Well, hello. Ugh. Hey, right now, a lot of us are working at home and spending a lot of time at the computer and at our desk. The first of the five stretches is for the shoulders. Super easy to get into. All of these, you will stay seated in your chair. You'll press the chair back, bringing the base of the palms into your desk, melting your forehead and your chest all the way down towards the floor gazing down towards the feet, and then relax the neck, the head, super heavy towards the ground. Pressing into the palms, relax your fingers, and you can hang with that sensation five to eight rounds of breath. Pose to pose, shape to shape. You can definitely utilize the time to cultivate conscious breathing. So in through the nose, down to the belly, and then out through the nose, soften your belly towards your back. Now just as much as the movements are going to help stimulate the body and center the mind, the conscious breathings are also going to help to calm the mind and calm the body, bringing everything into center. Now a second movement, shoulders moving onto the hips. Give yourself enough space for figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Flex your right foot, and you might choose to stay upright. Encourage outer right knee down to the ground, or you can take a forward fold if that's comfortable, if it's safe. Think leading with your heart, shoulders draw back. And as soon as I start to bow my torso forward, you can feel a lot more sensation in my target area of my outer right hip. Again, conscious belly breathings. Steady the gaze, or you might even close the eyes, and tune in to the felt experience of opening through the right hip. As long as you hold the stretch on the right side, you want to make Make sure that you balance that out and hold it on the left side. To keep the ankles and the knees safe with your figure four fold, make sure that your foot that's crossed over top, the foot stays flexed. So it doesn't go passive and mellow like a cooked noodle, rather flexed and strong, you are kicking out through the heel. The shoulders are back. You want to get out of this kind of schlumping and rounding forward. Think flat spine, heart energy forward. And then again, taking three, five, maybe eight rounds of conscious breathings. From the shoulders to the hips, then we find the hamstrings. So this one's pretty fun. You'll flex either foot and bring that foot right up onto your desk. You can choose to stay upright, long spine lifted through the heart or start to forward fold but much like you worked on the hips when you're focusing on the hamstrings you want to avoid this crunch and rounding forward stay open on the heart steady on the gaze and then start to move the breath you might take three five or eight rounds of breath but again because this is a series you want to be sure that it is balanced from the right to left you can flex your right foot or you can point. It might be a matter of both, exploring what your preference is. Just be sure that the neck stays nice and long and the shoulders stay down. From our shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretches up next. So we're back into the upper body, all the way up and over on the inhale. And with your exhale, it's a half goal post arm, so come back to center. Inhale up and over, reaching through the fingers, rolling the top shoulder back, and when you exhale, a half goal post, your elbows in line with your shoulder. Then keeping that fluid and smooth, inhale over, exhale, reset, and come back to center. Other side with the inhale over, and exhale, you reset. Couple more, just so we have balance in the lateral bodies. Keeping the top shoulder back and consciously breathing into the side ribs that you are opening and lengthening. Perfect. Shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretch, 
twist is the final of the postures. With your inhale, reach your arms up, 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 lifting out of your waist, and with your exhale, twist over to the right. Your right hand can wrap across your back, it can find the back of your chair, or it might find the opposite arm on your chair. And using the breath to assist the sensation when you breathe in, lifting your chest, your neck, and your head. And when you breathe out, twisting a little bit deeper, you want to feel that begin in your low belly, then your ribs, and then your chest. Inhale, upward arms. With the exhale, take it over to the left. Your right arm can find the back of your chair, can wrap around your low back like a half bind, or you might reach your left fingers all the way to the right armrest. With your inhale, lifting up and out with your exhale, twisting and revolving back. One more cycle of breath. And slowly let it go. Five stretches that you can incorporate in your daily life when you are seated for a long amount of time. You can do that on the hour, every hour. And of course, if you can find a stance, come up to the feet, do a little walk, two to three minutes, just getting up and getting the blood moving, getting the body moving. It can be incredibly beneficial for your output at work and the task that you're working on. Before we part ways completely, I did put together a little sticky song. That way you don't have to worry about remembering five postures, they'll just kind of flow to your mind because of this song. It goes a little something like this. Shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretch, twist. Shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretch, twist. Shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretch, twist. I haven't been in the house all week, if that's what you're wondering, or longer than a week. I'm totally fine. Shoulders, hips, hams. Side body stretch, twist. Shoulders, hips, hams. Side body stretch, twist. One more time. Shoulders, hips, hams. Side body stretch, twist. And now, that is officially all that I have for you today. So I hope that you enjoyed and you can take a little something away from it, whether it's one of the stretches or the lovely tune that I put together for you. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And just in case, it started to slip your mind. Shoulders, hips, hams, side body stretch, twist. That's it, see you guys soon. <laughs> I think I'm done.